Hi guys, um, I'm back and I want to do now, this video is going to be uh, my review on my Marks and Spencer's makeup that I bought about a week and a half ago. To say that I was going to try it for a while and that I would come back with a review and here I am. Um, it's not going to be a very long review because there's not really any horrible things I want to say about it. It's a couple of, you know, cons, um, but they're more pros than cons. Right. So, the first thing I'm going to do is their limited, I think it's limited, yeah, their limited line, the limited foundation. It's not bad, it's, it's, it's not um, the best liquid foundation I've ever used, let me put it that way. Um, you know, it's, it's very nice, it's very creamy, that doesn't actually look like it's going to match my skin tone, does it? But it does. Um, it, it's really nice. I'll put it on my arm and sort of blend it out. Um, of course, I use my Sam, Sam Chapman Real Techniques foundation brush for this one. Um, there you go, it's gone. Uh, it doesn't leave oily residue. It doesn't, I don't know if it specifically says it's for oily skin. Let me have a quick look. Uh, contains, contains moisturising ingredients to keep skin supple and smooth. So, to be honest, I should have read this before I bought it. I, I have more, or well, I have oily combination skin, more to the oily side than the combination, to be honest, um, especially in the summer. In the winter, yeah, it's pretty much the same, to be honest. I have sort of an oily combination. It always has been like that. got worse after I had my, um, my, my children, but I've already always had, I've never really had dry skin. So, um, but, you know, this, this is good. It's nice. It's a lovely texture when it goes on the skin. It doesn't sit on the surface of your skin. It actually blends in and sinks into your skin which is really nice um i've got uh, i've worn this two or three times i've worn it on a really hot day and i've worn it on not such a hot day and i must admit it stands up better on the not so hot day than it does on the really 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 hot days um sort of melts off the face um but yeah so that, I was, it's nice i, I would probably at a push repurchase it if i couldn't find anything else particular on that day <laughs> that sounds really bad but um no so it's not bad so marks and spencer's well done for that one it's not not too bad at all now the next one is their autograph collection um now i absolutely i think i told you before i absolutely adore mousse matte foundations i've got the maybelline one i've got barbara daly who um does makeup for tesco's i've got her one um and i've also got another one and I can't for the life of me now remember which one it is but it's a mousse foundation this um, as I said when I did my haul and I, I showed you this it is a mousse foundation but it doesn't come across when you I didn't see that there see it looks moussey because I've been sticking my brush in it um, but it's whereas the Maybelline ones are really moussey you know you can you can sort of like push your finger right in and it sort of does like a doughy effect and you know you get a little bit of product on your finger but when you push your finger into this it just oh look it's so soft it just sticks to your finger it is, it is mousse it's a very um light whipped mousse i would say um i'm just going to cover that bit there but when this when this goes on the skin i'm not joking it just it feels like silk and it blends in and obviously it doesn't blend in brilliant with your fingers um, it goes in a lot better with a Sam Chapman brush. Um, but I absolutely love this stuff. And the first colour I bought was in Buff. And there's no point in me even trying to show you that because you won't see it. But um, And that matches my skin totally now, perfectly. Um, it looks really dark when I first put it on. But once I blend it out, it, it does just look like I have been airbrushed. Um, which we all need and we all love and you know what's wrong with a little bit of airbrushing nothing if the stars can have it then so can we and if you can get that effect from a little pot that costs nine pound fifty from a department store i say go for it um the only thing i would say with this because it's um a mousse texture excuse me i'm gonna cough <coughs> because it's a moussey texture you really do need a primer with it because I don't know what it is but it tends to it doesn't 
drip off your face or anything, but it lasts quite a long time. But I'd say it doesn't last as long as, say, the liquid one probably would have lasted. Um, I have tried loads of primers with this, loads of different primers with this, and I've even tried putting my um, setting sprays on first, and that seems to work, to be honest. Um, all, all the primers I've got, got quite a few, they all work and they all leave it on for that little bit longer but the one I found works the most is you know it, it could be the elf setting spray it could be um, the one that collection do collection 2000 <coughs> they do um, a really nice setting spray now and I find putting that on first just let it dry sort of like fan yourself dry and then put this on this does last a long time and I am really 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 impressed with this um i love it in fact i use this one now more than my maybelline um which is really bad because i was a maybelline addict when it came to miss matte foundations um so yeah i got that one in buff and because now i'm a tan and everything not that it doesn't actually look like i've got a tan but, oh god um because of my tan is sort of like wearing off now i went out and i bought the lighter one um so this is this is like the box it comes in oh dirty how disgusting so yeah, it comes in a box like that, it's really pretty, and as you can see on the top look, that's £9.50. <coughs> I've got a really dry, tickly cough, and it's really irritating me. So yeah, I went out, and I bought the lighter one, and I've tried this, and yeah, still a little bit too light at the moment for my skin, um, but it won't be for long, so by the time sort of end of summer comes, this one will be being used and this one will go away in the box for next year so yeah first impressions of the mousse matte foundation or smooth matte mousse foundation it says there get it right is fantastic i love it absolutely <coughs> <coughs> love it see i told you i think i need a sucker strips or something right so yeah absolutely adore that uh, the only other thing I got from Marks and Spencers when I did it was their pressed matte um, powder, and that's from the limited collection, same one as the liquid. I'm really impressed with this as well. This is good. I absolutely adore my my there it is fantastic. I I adore my Stay Matte by Rimmel. It's really nice. But this is you know feel when you stick your when you sort of like do this. It doesn't feel like it's going to be as soft and as almost creamy as the Rimmel Stay Matte, but it is, it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's not chalky. When you put it on your skin, it literally just melts into your skin. And especially with the um, the Mousse Matte, even even though it's Mousse Matte, I still use powder on the top. This is just <coughs> a brilliant addition to the um, the foundations that Marks and Spencer sell. I love the packaging, I think it's really sweet, it's just like clear, I think this did come, actually no this didn't come with one of those little powder puffs, which I was really impressed with because I hate those things, absolutely hate them, um, the uh, the polystyrene ones, I mean the foamy ones, uh, the neoprene ones are quite good, but yeah, so there you go, that's my mini review on my um, Marks and Spencer's goodies that I bought. I'm hoping that's going to help anybody that wants to go out and try it. Um, I really do recommend the Matte Mousse Foundation, even if you're not oily, because like I said, it's a smooth matte mousse, and it, it does feel like silk when it goes on the skin. So I think even for dry, dry skin people, it would suit them, and it wouldn't make them feel even more dry. So I'm hoping that was a right help. Um, help. I really, really love it, and I will be going back to purchase some more from Marks and Spencers. Um, yeah, hope you have a really good day, guys, and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!